day and blessings. I'm Pastor Brandon, and this is Leading by Faith on ACTN, The Voice. Today, we just want to share a scripture with you, a short message, and a prayer. I'm at Daniel today, um, Daniel chapter 6, reading from verse 25. Then King Darius wrote unto all people, nations, and languages that dwell in all the earth, Peace be multiplied unto you. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God and steadfast forever, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be even unto the end. He delivereth and rescueth, and he worketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth. Who had delivered Daniel from the power of the lions? Such a wonderful scripture that King Darius, not even a Jew, not even a believer of the God of Daniel, but because he saw Daniel being rescued by his God, he made a decree that the God of Daniel shall be lifted up and his kingdom shall have no end and he will live forever. And why did this happen? Well, I'll tell you now. Daniel was loved by King Darius and around him, there were a lot of jealous people. In Daniel chapter six, you can go and read the chapter and you will see that all the people around Daniel, the princes and the rulers, they all hated Daniel and they went around looking for fault in Daniel. They went around looking where he can fall, where they can find something wrong, so they can bring him down, they can report him, they can, they can pull him down. And I don't know about you, but I've seen many times in our lives that there are people around us who jealous us because we are people of excellence. Daniel was a man of excellence. Everything that he did, he did it with excellence. And you and I too, we do things with excellence because we care. We do things with all our might and with love and, and, and we do it with a genuine heart. But there are people out there who will jealous you for that and they will set up traps for you to fall. They made the king make a decree that if anybody prays, they will be thrown into a lion's den. And the king agreed because he didn't understand the trap that was being set. And Daniel heard the decree. But hear what Daniel did, and I like this. Daniel opened his windows for all to see, and he prayed to his God. He prayed because he understood that no power of this day, no government of his day can redeem him. So he still prayed to God, and God was able to deliver him even from the lion's den. And his own enemies who tried to put him in the lion's den, they were thrown in the lion's den, their families and their children, and they died. So I tell you today, those jealous people that are trying to destroy your life, their traps shall set up, but they shall not hurt you. For no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord, for this time to share this word. Touch these people looking at this right now, even this one person, that though the traps may set up against them, that you shall deliver them, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. We thank you for this. In your name I pray. Amen and amen. Keep watching ACTN The Voice for more spiritually uplifting messages from the Word of God. Thank you.